Hi, this is Isabel Litzler, the place to be to develop your skills and grow your potential. So today's video is about how to make your online interviews more effective for you so that you get called back by the recruiter and, uh, you know, maybe take away some of uh, the ba basics that you need to know to be a good interviewee online. So before I get started, I just wanted to mention something that I believe in, even though you may not be convinced, but it's my opinion. I think that uh, the tools themselves are only as great as the speaker or the interviewee is, meaning that it's more about you than it is about the tools. So it's the same thing that I said about networking. It's not so much about meeting people in person. It's more about what you have to convey to individuals and what you represent and whether they want to be part of that or not. So in the end, whether you meet people outside or in person or online shouldn't really matter. And it's the same thing with interviewing online. It's not really going to change much if you convince yourself that you're the right person for the job. So I think it's more about being sure of yourself, you know, the confidence levels, the uh, preparation that you have for the job, then it will be about the camera, whether you're online. So that's just my, uh, my introduction to this. So, I want to give you three tips today to help you. So the first one is obvious, but I want to say it again because I've said it before in different videos, but you need to prepare yourself from a technical standpoint, meaning that you want to make sure that your equipment is up to date and ready to go. When you have this interview, you can tell the recruiter that the mic is not working or your camera is off or what have you. So make sure that you check all this before the interview. Make sure that you have a place in your house that's comfortable where you're not going to be disturbed. So again, those are details, but they're going to make a huge importance and also uh, it's going to help you be confident the day of the interview because if you're prepared, then the, the confidence levels will go higher because you don't have to worry about the details. You know, everything is working for you. So you can really focus on the message. And that's really what I want to convey here is that if you want to be a better interviewee online, make sure you take away all the disturbances, you know, the details, same thing with clothes, you know, what are you going to wear the day of the interview that should be also uh, taken out of the way ahead of time. So once you have all that ready, then you can focus about my second point, which is really about the message. What do you want to convey? So really being online is no different than you would in a, in a normal interview. Uh, you have to prepare yourself in terms of, you know, being in the center, making sure that the camera, that people see your face. I think by now, because we're all used to the Zoom calls now, it shouldn't be a problem, but still mentioning it, make sure that uh, you like what you see online when you have an online interview. So the message is really what do you want to convey? You know, how passionate are you about uh, this job that you've applied for and that could be the next step in your career. So if you really focused on that, then you will forget about the camera. And that's what a lot of actors say, actually, when they talk about how they prepare for a role. A lot of them will say that at some point, you know, they forget about the camera. They're completely into their character, into the acting, and uh, they don't even see people around them. So that's really what you want to do at some point is really be so into what you have to say and be so convinced that you're the right person for the job that you forget that you're online and you have a camera and, and someone is on the other side and so forth. So it's really more inward, you know, think more about uh, let me talk about what I know, you know, why I'm the great person for the job and what skills do I have. And then you want to give concrete examples of things that you deliver. So one of the main feedback that people get with me when they do training uh, on interviewing skills is about being very focused on examples that make sense for this one organization. So that's probably the biggest part of the job for you is focus on concrete examples. So if you apply for a tech company and you've done something, even if it's not exactly tech, but it's related somehow, make sure you use that as an example and it's not necessarily uh, your last job. So really you want to find the relevance because if you're giving me examples that don't really match with my business, it's going to be very inefficient for me and I may not be as interested in you. So that's really the little tip that makes the whole difference. You know, uh, people want to see how alike you are with them, you know, and that's going to be this uh, we can connect together type of factor because you understand what our business is about or our organization if it's a if it's a not for profit. 
So if it's a not-for-profit, don't go at length mentioning all the things you did in the private sector. That's not interesting for them. Try instead to think about, you know, use a little bit your imagination to think about what could uh, this international organization need possibly right now at this stage based on, you know, what you read about them, etc. So you need a bit of preparation. And I work with you on that when we have the training together about finding examples in your history that are very good for specific uh, job interviews. And finally, number three is about practice and practice again. Uh, we only get better by practicing. So if you're really new to this whole exercise of having interviews online, a lot of you may be looking for a job now and you haven't for a while. And with this whole interviewing online, it's very stressful. So uh, it's going to add to your performance online to some extent if you're stressed. So you want to do it once, twice. For example, I have clients who book a session with me, then they do it again and they're better by then because they get used to the camera. So it's the same thing for you. Uh, if you're not really used to that and you're nervous, you want to get that nervousness out of the way. So you can do that by training yourself with your phone or with your computer, prepare some questions and give the answers out loud to uh, in front of the camera so that you can be comfortable when you have an interview with uh, a great company that you've been waiting. So I cannot highlight enough that you only have one chance to make a first impression. So once that's done, uh, that's it. You know, this company has made their impression about you. And the second thing I want to highlight is that there's probably only so many companies that you can work for in your specific industry. So if you're targeting a country like Switzerland, where the market is narrow and in your industry, it may be even narrower. So you want to make sure that when you do have the interview with this company, that you're happy with the outcome. At least you prepared yourself, you gave it a hundred percent. And even if it doesn't work out for whatever reason, you gave yourself all the chances to be successful. So uh, sometimes people take that a bit lightly and they say, well, you know, I'll just try, I'll just do the interviews. Uh, and unfortunately, they don't make it to the several rounds and you can go back and fix it later. So I would rather you contact me early on and we fix it together early on rather than come to me after you've interviewed with all the companies in your field. And by then, you know, the market is dry for you and uh, you know, going back to these companies will be harder and they've already made an impression about you. So I just say, you know, in Switzerland, people will make a first impression about you. Uh, you can't hire, you can't apply multiple times. Usually it's, it's very sensitive because again, people have a file on you. So uh, it might look a little bit fishy if you apply for several jobs, you know, within a very short period of time. So you have to manage all these things that uh, you may not think about as a job seeker, especially applying in a country where you don't know uh, maybe the behind the scenes and, and the practices and so forth. So I just want to make that clear that it's uttermost important uh, that you practice, that you rehearse and that you're happy by the time you have the interview about your performance. And I've really seen people transform completely from the first time that they interviewed with me where they were completely confused and didn't know what to say to really practice and, and really get better at it and uh, more confident. And it's especially confidence because again, confidence is really this, uh, uh, the secret sauce that links it all it's it's there if it's there you know everything that you're going to say will will be more uh credible so i hope this was helpful uh as usual feel free to comment below uh how do you fare in your interviews online right now do you get any uh are you happy with the outcome if not feel free to book a call with me on my website and i'll be happy to help you there uh and i talk to you soon thanks